Hey, <laughs> hey guys. Uh, okay, um, this is a uh, video to uh, kind of go over some things. Um, sorry for all the noise. There's some race cars racing out on the track out here, so uh, hopefully you can hear me. Um, one's a really loud race car, by the way. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so I wanted to kind of go over some things that. I guess have been going on for the past um, few months or not going on let's say so <laughs> uh, okay obviously the progress in a car has um, not not progressed really because of I guess since January I'm really since the cold weather started um, that has really put a damper on things uh, in more ways than one um, mainly because the, the stuff that we're doing is kind of temperature sensitive and so the uh, so the, 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 the products need to be over 60 to 70 degrees in order for them to work right so it's been like 30 in the mornings and it gets like to 40 in the evenings and then with the rain and everything else and all the crazy snowstorms um, we haven't had a chance to, to do much you know we've had a lot of things that we've been working on I've kind of mentioned this in our in our blogs or our Facebook. Uh, some things with investments and and trying to get funding and just all kinds of opportunities that we're looking into. And those things uh, have just taken a lot of time because there's a lot of paperwork involved. Uh, we had to start up a business and a corporation and and just do a lot of different things in order to try to bring this to to a, a an actual full company. And, and so that's kind of where we're at. And um, we're still waiting on, uh, you know, the word from these investment places. So uh, we've kind of been through this before in the past and it's always been a type of a roller coaster. And, man, that's a loud car, man. Um, <laughs> that's a Viper, by the way. It's pretty badass. He's got like 1,100 horsepower. Um, anyway, so, uh, Okay, so the investments, um, we're not really sure where they're at. We've been through this before, and it's been quite a roller coaster of emotions and, and things. It's really hard for you know, investors to get on board with something like this. We, we have a lot of uh, uh, fans around us and, and a lot of publicity even uh, about what we're doing because of the kind of the unique uh, fashion that we're doing it in. Um, and so we're excited. It's just... You don't want to get your hopes up too much because you just really never know what's going to happen, and um, and you know that's that's kind of where we're where we're at with all that. Uh, then on top of that, um, at the end of last year, I, I ended up losing um, my 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 job, so uh, so I'm kind of back to freelance work right now, um, you know, to support us and in, in, in the project and all that. But it's just man, I tell you, freelance is not what it used to be. Uh, back in the day, I used to make a killing doing that kind of thing, and now it just it just plain out sucks. No one wants to pay for anything. Uh, the economy is terrible. Nobody wants to hire you for a job or anything. So, um, so I'm pretty solo at the moment. Um, Eric, my partner, he's he's still fully employed, thank God, and uh, he you know he's doing good. Um, and uh, both of us are are just getting out here when we can. This is still we're still in that kind of part-time project base right now until we can get some real funds behind us that that will allow us to get all the things that we really need and really start flying with everything so right now we're still just putting in you know the time the time that we can spare in order to get this done uh and and so far it's we're doing good i mean last year was a great year for me even though you know the the company that i was working for wasn't doing so well and had to let me go uh that that company allowed me to work on the car anytime that I wanted to and and still work for the company and do everything that I needed to do for them. So it was good because it allowed me to work on this almost full time um, and, and do their stuff almost, you know, uh, part time. <laughs> and, and I was getting full time pay. So that was great. It was a good deal. But um, I don't regret it. It was a risky kind of deal. And that's just, you know, part of the business world. And when, you know, for other people that are trying to get into something like that, you know, that you, you have to take some risk and you have to, uh, uh, to, to you know, be willing to, 
put yourself in situations that you may not like and hope that you know the end result will be where you want to be I guess and and that's what we're looking at right now I mean we're, we're still you know have the passion and the drive and we're still focused 100 percent on this and we're working on a lot of business outside aspects of it right now and you know that's that's where we're uh, really focused and um, now that the, the weather uh, <laughs> is, is better and it's starting to warm up to uh, 60 to 70 degrees um, I can actually you know me and my partner can actually start getting out here to uh, uh, start working on a car so it's only happened just this week because the weather's just been crazy for the past uh, few months uh, of this year you know it's a uh, you know a couple of feet of snow and things like that here in Texas it's just nuts so um, so uh, over the past few days I've been working on a car I'll show that in some upcoming videos and and, and let you see that all right I have some questions I think people want to ask I just want to answer in a video because I get so many emails and people are starting to call now and they're just they want to know and you know it's just nuts so um, I have to kind of ask all these every time that car goes by because it's so loud. Um, all right, so a lot of people want to know, is this a kit car that we're building? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> um, in short, uh, it's a full production car that we're building and this is not the actual car. A lot of people think this is the actual car and it's not. This is the, uh, the body bug. This is what we'll be uh, taking the molds from in order to, to produce all the various body panels uh, that we mount on the chassis. And, uh, and a lot of people ask, are we using a Miata uh, chassis? And we're not. Nothing on the car is really Miata. It's, uh, except for uh, the glass on the car. Um, we started with this Miata, you know, not really a platform, but just the interior windshields and mechanism stuff uh, because it was the right fit, it was the right size. And it was a way for us to not have to produce yet another thing for the car. So we were able to use the glass from the Miata and we can still get it. And it's easily, you know, uh, attainable and it's inexpensive. And it's a good shape glass and it's a good type and it's DOT and all the other stuff. So, um, so that's great. And, uh, and, and that's, so no Miata. What engine? Uh, a lot of people want to know what engine uh, we plan on using in the car. And it's kind of uh, up in the air. I mean, we have some that we want to use, um, and our primary choices right now are the Ford 5.4 uh, liter uh, supercharged engine from Roush or directly from Ford Motorsport. And uh, it just depends. We want to use the same engine that's in a Ford GT. Um, and now they just released a new 5.0 motor, which is all modular, all aluminum. It's a lot lighter, makes tons of horsepower and torque. Uh, it's very, very efficient. Probably one of the most efficient engines that have, has been produced yet, um, as far as making the kind of power that it makes. And, uh, and so that right now is probably the primary contender for being in this car. Um, and, and so we're pretty interested in, in getting our hands on that when, when we can. Um, after this video, I'll have another video of doing some bodywork and stuff on a car and filling in the uh, one of the uh, side uh, vents on the, on the side of the car because we need to, we need to fill that in uh, in order to continue working and shaping the car. And I'll explain that later. So anyway, I uh, hope that's good and uh, I'll see you guys next time.